It's time to spend some time with Rick. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Welcome to Spooky Times. Spooky Month. Spooky Recommendations. Also known as Rick Needs a Haircut. Look at that. Look at that. Look at my hair. Gonna be throwing a ton of information at you in this video. So get out your pens. Get out your paper. Get out of your underwear. I have recommendations for Halloween films, classics, TV series, and a couple of Halloween comedies. Four TV series, seven classics, ten current or semi-current films, and two comedies. <laughs> Halloween can be funny! No, it can't! Easy, guys. First, the TV series. Netflix for every single one of these series. Number one, The Haunting of Hill House. Number two, The Haunting of Bly Manor. Number three, Midnight Mass. Number four, The Fall of the House of Usher. The first one that I was talking to you about, which is Hill House, many of you know who've been around for a while, is the movie, and this is the creator who redeemed the horror genre for, genre for me. Not movie, TV series. And if you haven't seen any of them, please start and watch them. I'd watch them in that order. Also, if you don't know the story of the fall of the House of Usher of Edgar Allan Poe, it's okay. It helps if you know Poe. It helps if you know it. But even if you go in blind, I think you're going to really like it. All of those stand up to what is, for me, the king of horror film writing and directing right now, which is Mike Flanagan, who is going to be making the next Exorcist film, which makes me very, very happy. For the classics, boy! Bela Lugosi's Dracula, which can be found on Amazon. Boris Karloff in Frankenstein, which is on Peacock, because that's owned by Universal, and Frankenstein is a Universal thing. I think Dracula was too, so I don't know why that's not there. Anyway, whatever. Psycho! Netflix. Here's Johnny! That was not Jack Nicholson. That was a guy named Bill who needs to go to the bathroom. The Shining, which is on Max! Halloween, not to be confused with a hollow weenie. That should be on Amazon. Nightmare on Elm Street. That too should be on Max. Of the classics, yes, I'm actually, I'm recommending now. This used to be a film I said should be burned and nobody should watch anymore because it's so realistic, but I feel the opposite way now. It's such an incredible piece of cinema history and it holds up to the test of time as well as being based on true events, you can't not recommend The Exorcist. Also on Max, current films or sort of current films, Hell House LLC, one of the scariest movies I've seen in recent history, should really scare you spitless, not for the kids. That's on Tubi, it also should be available on Amazon. The most current one is The Deliverance. I don't know if you're gonna like it or not, but my favorite thing about The Deliverance is the groundedness of the storytelling, the performances. I love Glenn Close, as well as the rest of the cast does a fantastic job. And I'm here to tell you guys, here to tell you, the depiction of spiritual warfare is straight up, it's real, it's as good as it gets. Truly, truly, The Deliverance, it's on Netflix. One of my favorites, and Indrani's of my favorites, that's just good, scary, Last shift. This one's scary, and it's really well done. And you should be able to find it on Sling, or it can be rented on Amazon. As Above, So Below. One of my favorites. Pay attention. It's not only scary. The symbolism, the storytelling. One of those movies that we've watched with other people. Highly, highly, highly recommend As Above, So Below. And that's currently on Netflix. Wreck Stands for record. I know that, idiot. Leave me alone! Really good horror movie. Pretty much what happened during COVID. You can find it on Tubi. <laughs> or Amazon. The Descent! Oh! Really good horror film. Really enjoyed it. Nice jump scares. Really well done. Creepy scary things. We like it. That's on Hulu and Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Shutter Island. One of the best psychological thrillers around. I think it's a Halloween movie. Should be a Halloween movie. Come on. It's on. 
uh, Peacock, as well as could be rented on Amazon. DD buy? Yes. Uh. Sister Death. See what I did there? It was the DD buy was the. This is very much cut from the same cloth as Mike Flanagan movies. And the reason being is because you'll discover when you watch Mike Flanagan, for those of you who know Mike Flanagan, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it's not just Flanagan. It's for those who tell really good, scary stories. Stephen King does this. I'm not going to tell you. It'll spoil it. Just go watch it. Mr. Death can be found in your family. Just kidding. Netflix. This one is something I don't know that everybody will be able to see because it's only available on Z. It's the Marathi horror film La Pachapi. Love this film. I wish more people would see this if you have access to it. Man, please watch it. It's a really well done, small budget horror film that I love and wish it was on more platforms. Tumbad! Sounds like a superhero movie. Tumbad can be found on Amazon, as well as in the inner sanctums of the earth. And last but not least, just a couple of comedies that you just should watch every frickin' Halloween, the first one will be no surprise. It's Mel Brooks's Young Frankenstein, which is really Gene Wilder's Frankenstein, but it's Mel Brooks's Young Frankenstein, which can be found on Amazon. And then another Mel Brooks one that's just underappreciated, High Anxiety. If you've never seen High Anxiety, Mel Brooks, with most of his comedies, tips the hat to some genre. Young Frankenstein was a tip of the hat to Frankenstein and Dracula and the old universal classic horror films of the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. High Anxiety is his tip of the cap to Alfred Hitchcock. And he makes parodies of a ton of Hitchcock films. And it's just standard Mel Brooks. And you got Harvey Corman and Cloris Leachman and Madeline Kahn. If you've never seen it and you see it, would you let me know what you thought? It really, it helps if you've seen Alfred Hitchcock movies like The Birds and Psycho. I, even if you haven't, it's just a fun one to watch. There aren't a lot of family horror films that I can recommend because I don't really watch horror films that are good for the kids. There's things out there that I know Indrani loves that I haven't seen yet, like Hocus Pocus. And I know there's Casper, The Addams Family. And I, I haven't I haven't seen those ones. I'm going to watch Hocus Pocus with Andrani this Halloween. But those are my recommendations for you guys. If you have some others, if there's ones you'd like me to watch that I didn't mention and you're wondering if I've watched it and maybe do a review of, let me know. But happy Halloween, happy spooky season, and yeah, I'll see you after Halloween if we survive. Ha 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 